Today, in the first episode of Game Dev Explained, I'm going to do a general overview of three ways cloth is used in video games, and I'll be using the fantastic game Stray as an example. It's not hard to miss the use of cloth throughout Stray, and if you ever wondered how it was done, that's exactly what I'll be demonstrating today. First, I'll need a model. Let's download Clementine from Sketchfab. Then I'll make a quick rig so we can play animation on Clementine and see the cloth in action. The first cloth technique is very simple, and you'll have a hard time finding a game where it's not being used for cloth on characters. It's copying the skinning of a character's body to their clothes, which means any movement the body does will be mimicked on the cloth. Let's take the raped character and drop it in the stray scene. Now in Unreal, we can assign her animations and see it play in Editor. You'll notice that the cloth is stiff and follows the body's movement. In Stray, you can see this method used everywhere. The second cloth technique is cloth simulation. This can be done many different ways, but I'll be using Unreal's built-in cloth sim. The idea is to assign values to vertices from 0 to 100. The painted area will react like cloth based on its value. 0 means there is no effect. 100 means it's free to move up to 1 meter from its origin and will react to gravity, wind, and other external forces. Let's add some jiggle to this pouch and compare it to the skin version. Stray, you'll see the majority of cloth skins to characters, with accents of cloth sim on the ends of coats and robes. Walking through the cyberpunk city, you may have seen these absolutely everywhere. This is a third cloth technique called canned simulations. It's a great way to get organic looking movement without having to simulate in real time. This is an easily identifiable cloth sim for its repetition. Basically, you take a cloth, run a simulation, make it a loop, and import it into Unreal as an Olympic cache. When just duplicating the canned cloth sim, each will play the same loop at the same time. This can be modified with code so that each starts at a different frame. In Stray, if you stare at the cloth long enough, you'll see that some share the same animation but are playing at different times or speeds.
that's the end of this video. If you liked it, let me know below. And if you learned something, please consider subscribing.